As the president marks five months in office today, he's hit a new low in our CBS News poll. Only 36% of Americans told us they approve of the job he's doing. He's even losing support among Republicans. Dean Reynolds is with the Trump faithful in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. At Two Brothers Restaurant in Oshkosh, Trump supporters like Ken Shanicki are getting impatient, but not with the president. Leave him alone. Let him do what he wants to do. The media is hounding him constantly. I mean, really? This group of retirees backs the president on most every move he makes, with one exception, says Adolf Hendricks. I would like to see him a little bit more presidential, perhaps, a little bit more dignified. Les Taylor says enough with the tweets. It just gives the Democrats fodder for their daily uh, uh, attacks attacks on him. Warren Thompson dismisses the big issue consuming Washington. Do you ever talk about the Russia thing? Does it bother anybody here? This whole thing, is a, as far as I'm concerned, is a conspiracy, is a total distraction. They are among the 72 percent of Republicans who remain in the president's corner, according to our new CBS News poll. But that number is down from 83 percent 52 days ago, and his disapproval rate among Republicans is up seven points. What grade would you give Trump right now? Probably a low C. Jennifer King, a church and school secretary, voted for Mr. Trump. I still support him but I would like to see some real results. She wants tax cuts and more help for veterans, but believes the president is too easily sidetracked. He's too busy fighting media. He's too busy fighting accusations. What do you think is his problem? I personally think it's his mouth. But whether committed or wavering, these Trump voters believe the president is being treated unfairly, Anthony, and most are willing to give him at least two years on the job before they would reconsider their support. Dean Reynolds in Oshkosh. Thanks, Dean.